Well, uh, Rob, we we broached the topic a bit with Ben Verlander we had on last hour. And uh, you and I have talked about it a bit in the past. You said, what was it, about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago? Yep. That the Angels should do the unthinkable and trade Shohei Otani. And sure enough, John Heyman does a great job covering MLB for the New York Post, writes an article today saying that the Angels are indeed listening to offers. I, I doubt he's traded before the deadline, Rob. Which is but Tuesday. But they're It's soon, right, right. Right, they're listening. And um, here, here's what I'll read a little bit to you, and then let's get into it. Uh, an executive who called the Angels about Otani, this is in the article, said that Los Angeles, the Angels, are seeking some, quote, something like your top four prospects in any deal. Um, Otani was asked, Rob, last night after their game, yet another loss. Right. Uh, would he, does he still want to be with the Angels after the trade deadline, which you said is Tuesday? Here's his quote. Regardless of where I'm playing, I'm going to give it my all and try to win that ball game in front of me. I'm with the Angels right now, and I'm very thankful for what they've done. I love my team and my teammates. Mm. Right now I'm an Angel, and that's all I can focus on. Uh, not exactly a yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. And and he's playing it diplomatically. He said the Chris. right thing, right? He, he said, said the, right, the thing. right thing because you don't want to go overboard and then you get dealt. You know, like saying, "Oh no, whatever," and then they deal you because you you kind of feel like. Well, uh, he may want to get dealt. No, I that's think he I'm, wants to win. I think he does want to win, and you don't want to have a career that's wasted. You don't. And he's a. As Ben Verlander used his word, a unicorn, something we haven't seen since Babe Ruth, Chris. Right. And we're talking about the 20s, so 100 years ago, okay? Uh, but I'm still on the bandwagon of absolutely freaking lutely. If you can get a haul for Otani, I would do it. And I know as hard as it is, is to give up one of those all-time greats, but you're already locked in, Chris, with Rendon, bad contract, injuries, you're already locked in with Trout. Those guys have no trade clauses in their contracts, so you just can't move them willy-nilly or when you want. And you're not going to win anything by having three bats and no pitching. And they've done this over and over and over. The last time the Angels won, Chris, was 2002 when they beat Barry Bonds' Giants. I covered that World Series um, it was seven games. It was exciting. It was great. Giants fans weren't happy, but the Angels won. Mike Social was their manager. It's been a long time coming. And without pitching in baseball, Chris, you won't win. If you want to sell tickets and have people come to the park and your ballpark is three-quarters filled because you have a couple of big-name stars and you're in that business, then hold on to them. But if you're serious about trying to build a team – and you could get some organizations' top four prospects or their top three or three of their top seven or f something like that, Chris, and you get two pitchers in that deal and then an outfielder or a DA, somebody who can hit, to replace Otani, you know, so you get a, a player who can play now and then two pitchers who are top prospects. You got to think about it because you're not going to win. And then here's the caveat that makes it almost – even more impossible. Chris, after next year, Otani wants to get paid. They're paying a 23-year-old kid, uh, uh, um, Juan Soto, offering him a half a billion dollars. What do you pay Otani, who's a pitcher and a hitter, and won a unanimous MVP? Soto has no MVP. Soto didn't win rookie of the year. What do you pay Otani? Well, he here's what I do, Rob. Because I'm not trying. I'm still. I get why they're listening. Shohei has made it fairly clear he wants to win. Not that he wants to leave, but that he wants to win. They aren't winning. And rather than lose him for nothing as a free agent, he can be a free agent, what, after the 2023 season. Right. Rather than lose him for nothing, why not, you know, try to get what you can for him? I get that reasoning, but here's why I wouldn't do it, Rob. And, and I thought Ben Verlander broke it down well. 
It's bad management decisions. If you have to make a change with your management, so be it. But I, you dream about getting a player like uh, Shohei Otani. You dream about getting a player like Mike Trout. Now, Trout obviously has the no-trade clause, so you can't move him. If he didn't have it, Rob, if I, I would look at moving him before Shohei. Uh, but I would, I would. here's what I would do with Otani. Whenever they're eligible, I would offer him a long-term deal. Right now, they can do that, Rob. Before any other team, before he hits free no, agency, right, obviously, right, right, right. Yep, yep. I would offer him a. You can argue he should be the highest paid guy in baseball. Him, Aaron Judge, Juan, so they're all going to be around there, and maybe he's should be number one. Well, because he does two jobs, a, that right. would be his argument, right? Right. Offer him a huge deal. If he rejects it, now you know, he's not staying with us. So then we can look at moving him. But I, I just don't I, – I hear you on the prospects, Rob. How many prospects don't no, pan I, out? I mean, Anthony Rendon was a prospect. I mean, he's more than a prospect. He was a great player. Hadn't panned out. Right. No, I Alex, get that. Uh, Albert Pujols was a great play, – all-time great. Hall of Famer. Didn't pan out. Yeah, but the only thing is they, they, if you do that, Chris, you don't have money for pitching. And that's that's where Fine. the issue comes in. I'm just I'll work with that later. I'm serious. Like I'm not this. If he's willing to stay, and I'm I'm fine. If Otani's like, look, I'm good. I, I I will, right. I want to go somewhere and win. I will not criticize him. He's in a you know a, a, a country that's not his homeland. And if he wants to come here and win, I'm all good with it. All right. O- so Otani, that's fine. Chris, but if he if he if he's I, willing I have, to stay, I'm not I'm not moving him. He's just o- too good. Otani's list of teams he wants to go to, either the Heat or the Suns. Oh, I'm right. sorry. That's the wrong list. <laughs> Everything's <we> <laughs> not funny. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I mean, but right, you see what I'm saying? Like, why would I give up Shohei Otani? Wait, now, can look, I- remember when Texas gave up Alex Rodriguez? Yes. They gave him that that bad contract. They 275. Signed him to, it was great. But what, right. what happened in Texas, Chris? Well, no they got pitcher. better. But after him, didn't they get better e- yeah. eventually? Yeah, they did because yeah. they, they, they got some prospects. They had money to get some pitching, and right. they did become a better team. So, And here's the other thing. But I, I, I still wouldn't do it. The, the Red Sox if I have sold to be Babe Ruth. next three years and then get, uh, get good, okay. But go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm going to say the Red Sox sold Babe Ruth. They sold How'd Otani. How'd that work out? They only went 81 years without winning the World <laughs> Series, but now look. Oh, yeah. You had to wait a century. but So we'll wait a century for the curse it was, it of was the cur- to It fall. was the curse of the Bambino. That was what right. it was called, the curse right. of the Bambino. Uh, but, but I'm saying anybody's tradable. Anybody can be moved. I understand that. They did it with Babe Ruth, who's uh, one of the all-time great players who ever played example. the game. Why? Because they, they, you... they were cursed for 80 years. Chris, can you win without and pitching? The, and look at what the Yankees did. No, they went on to be a uh, power. Yeah, I mean, come on. You arguably the best player ever. You traded him. And, and it cost you almost a century of winning. That's not a good example. Bring up uh, somebody else. King Griffey so, Jr. So, so, so you think... Just keeping them at all costs, giving them a half a billion dollars, not having money for pitching. What what does that do? That doesn't get you any closer. A lot to of times, your pitching might come from the young. It might come from guys nobody really knows about. You know what I'm saying? Now you may lose them when they become free agents, and the the Red Sox or the Yankees or some big spending team comes and snatches them. But Rob, you know that a lot of times the the guys that make up a great rotation kind of come somewhat out of nowhere. Well, you gotta have. They thought they had that. Uh, who was the kid earlier this year who pitched a no hitter? Yeah, you yeah, remember? yeah. Hunter, Hunter. I, I, and you know where he is, Chris? He's in the minor leagues now. Yeah, that. And we did him on a uh, trolling or rolling, I believe. We did because we thought maybe he might be. You know where you get a pitcher right. from your minor league system, and that is puts you over the top. You get somebody you weren't expecting, but that was short lived. He pitched a no hitter, and then uh, that was it. You just, that's my point, though, Rob. It, it, these prospects 
And, and again, in baseball more than any sport, you just don't know. You don't know. You know with Otani. And so I, I, I run the litmus test, Rob. Otani, uh, eight years, half a billion, you know, whatever. If he rejects it, okay, he's leaving. So let's trade him and get something for him. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm gonna test it first before I just move on from it. Because we know, Rob, there are a lot of great, you can have a great run, and I know this will sound bad to some people. You can have a great run and not win the World Series. Barry Bonds, we've talked about it, never won a World Series. Right. I'd love to have him on my team. So I just think fix, fix the problems elsewhere. Don't, don't fix them by trading away a once-in-a-century type talent like Otani. I say that at some point they have to come to terms and they're not going to be better until they get pitching. And if that means having to give up, you got, you're keeping Trout and, and you have to pick one they're of those two. No trade, right? Trout and Rendon. Right. You, you, I mean, you're no keeping those card. guys, so that's why somebody has to go. I think that's who has to go. It has to be Otani. It'll be interesting if people think uh, that, that they – would you trade Otani? We want to hear from you guys.